Hello everyone, this is Ahmad Hagazi from SECAT Solutions. Uh, today, inshallah, we will uh, make a, a demo for uh, pressure vessel by using an access database file, which exported from BVL software. Uh, we will open the uh, access database file and uh, try to uh, read the information inside this file before uh, uh, creating it by using SEG software and uh, check some important points regarding names and nozzle size. Uh, the first point, uh, you should check the uh, names of uh, each element. It should be a unique name, uh, not repeated names, and the name should, uh, uh, shouldn't should include any legal characters, like backslash, uh, double dot, uh, question mark. So the names shouldn't include uh, a character like this. Okay, now let's imagine uh, the main elements uh, of this equipment. Here, as you can see, you have a uh, first element is uh, the right head, which is from node uh, 10 to 20. Uh, another shell, 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 shell. After that, another head. Now you have, uh, after this head, which is the right head, you have two other heads. That means uh, those heads should be connected to another element. Uh, you will not find in real case a head connected to another uh, two heads by that way. So let's go to the end of this table right here. And for this column, which parent nozzle, you will find that this nozzle connected, connected to B1, B01, and the second head connected to B02. That means though both of those heads connected to another, uh, two other nozzles. Okay, as a boot uh, head, uh, you will find here uh, another uh, blind flanges. Okay, uh, that means those uh, SEG will understand them as uh, a flange after a head. But in actual case, it should be connected to a nozzle. So if we come back here, you will find that uh, uh, no mention here for a nozzle for this blind flange. And that's... Uh, uh, one of mistakes in the uh, access database file which is supported from BVL. So no information here regarding the type of this flange or how it, uh, uh, for which element it will be connected. That means here SEG will automatically put it after the uh, those the right head. Okay, so the final element as the main elements of the head, which is right head. Uh, all of those flanges will be listed on the tree after uh, the right head. Okay, so we will uh, uh, update that or uh, modify that after importing the information in SEG. Uh, now let's check the nozzles. So when we come here, you should check all names and they should be unique, as mentioned. No repeated names and uh, no illegal characters. Now for the uh, nominal diameter of the uh, nozzle. As mentioned many times, the nominal diameter should be in imperial case, not in millimeter. So we will make a modification for those values manually. So let's make this as 8 inches, 10 inches, 24 inches, 20 inches, 24, 24. Here for those sizes greater than 24 inches, it should be related, if you have a connected flange, it should be related to uh, SME P16.47 series A or series B, but here on the access database file, no mention for that. So SEG will be confused about that. So we will make a trick here by changing the size to another size. After that, we will modify it in SEG to make it as a, a standard size with a 36 inches flange. So let's modify this value and make it uh, 18 right now. After that, we will modify it uh, on SEG. Now we have a 50, so it's 2 inches, 4 inches, 2 inches, 3 inches, 3 inches. 4 inches, 4 inches, 2 inches, 2 inches, 4, 2, 2. Now we modify all information for the nozzles and make the nominal diameter in imperial format. 
Now we can close this access database file. And now let's open SEG software. And from here, let's create a new project as BVL model. And from here, let's import this access database file. So, so from here, let's import the uh, access database file. Sorry. After that, click finish to create this project. Now we have uh, this project and from here, let's right click and select import and select import access file from PVL. Now, as you can see, uh, you will receive this dialog box, which inform you that uh, the units should be in millimeter and the uh, nozzle size should be in imperial. So you have uh, uh, those notifications and you should follow them. Now let's accept this and now we can import the file so from here let's go uh, to the this folder and import the access database file now when you click import this is you will inform you that this vessel is a horizontal vessel and if you would like to change the orientation you can click on no or if you would like to accept just click yes now during the importing you will find that the first shell course length with that name the longitudinal welding line orientation is at at zero the default because as you know in bvl it no mention <coughs> no mention for the welding lines orientation <coughs> sorry <coughs> but in SEG you can modify that during importing the elements now let's accept the values without changing so all values we will accept to them after that we can make the modification manually now seg import all elements on seg3 and let's check that here we have the lift head which is the first element that we have another shell here which is shell one and we have three nodes connected to this shell another shell we have another two nodes connected to this shell and one of the main points that I would like to mention. Oh, so let's open the uh, access database file again to compare the values here. So from the elements tab, as mentioned, here for this nozzle, which is a B01 sum head, as you can see, it's connected to B01 nozzle. So from here, if you take a look at this one, here we have this nozzle, which is B01 nozzle. We have a sum head here connected to this nozzle and by the way we mentioned that the size greater than 24 we change it to 18 after that we will modify it in SEG itself so from here you can come here and select that suitable size which is let's say uh, 33 inches okay and change the thickness and make uh, all modifications that you would like to do or if you would like to make this nozzle as a nozzle from plate you can do that so and click save now we will do the same thing with b2 so let's, let's change the size to 36 inches and click on save now we have two other nozzles here with the same uh, size which is 18 which is uh, uh, 12c and 12d uh, we need to change the size of those nozzles besides the size of the flange now so when you select this one let's change the size of the nozzle to 36 and click on save and from here which is the flange connected to this one let's select it and from here let's select a uh, weld neck wrist face flange according to sma b16.47 series a and let's change the rating change the size to 36 for example change the end thickness so you can modify your dimensions like that from here so let's do the same thing with 12d change the size and if you would like to make it as a nozzle from plate you can do that by selecting it from here okay as a nozzle from plate and modify the dimension but let's make it as a nozzle from pipe with 36 inches and click on save 
do the same changes on the nozzle. So let's select series A, select the rating and the schedule and change the end thickness of the flange and click on save. Okay, now we have, uh, uh, as you can see, if we minimize uh, those checkboxes here, you will figure that uh, that we have uh, the main elements of the uh, vessel, as mentioned here on the main elements. So let's come back here. You will have the main elements from the right head up to the left head. And those two heads, uh, which is B, B01 sump head and B02 sump head, connected to another nozzle. But the blind flanges will be come after the right head. So let's take a look here. As you can see, uh, this right head will will followed by blind uh, uh, 12F, K and blind 12A will be connected to 12F, and that's not the right case. Okay, this blind actually connected to another flange. So let's let's find uh, 12F here. Okay. So we have a 12F here, okay, and we have another blind with as a 12F. So let's take a copy from this blind flange uh, with uh, the connected nozzle and come here to the external connection and click on paste. Okay, so now if we if you open this extend point, you will find that you take a copy from this blind flange with a nozzle to be connected to this flange. Now we will select this blind flange and uh, make it flipped and click on save. Now let's delete the uh, 12F from here because we take a copy from it at top, which is this one. Okay, and you can, uh, by the way, you can make a rename for this one by changing the name of this one directly from here and click rename. The same you can do it for the nozzle. By that way so you can make it like that okay so you can make a change for the node easily from uh, this form now we have another blind flange which is 12a so let's take a copy from 12a let's take a copy like that and uh, find 12a which is this one and select this external connection point and click on paste okay now let's delete 12 a from here and take the uh, this one which is this blind flange uh, connected to 12a and make it flipped and now let's make a rename for it like that and if you would like to make a rename for all nodes of this one you can do that now let's take another blind which is uh, 12b so let's take a copy from 12B copy and come up here to find uh, 12P uh, in 10, 12E, 12B. So let's make a paste here for this blind with all connected nozzles and delete 12B from down right here. And here we have 12B, so let's select it and make it flipped like that as mentioned you can make a rename for it from here so we can delete that and rename this node now we we still have another two blind flanges 12e so let's take a copy from 12e and uh, take a look for uh, 12e which is that one and click on paste and delete the previous one okay and for 12 b 12 e sorry let's make it as a flipped blind flange and the last one which is 13 so let's take a copy from 13 and make paste for this blind flange here and delete this one like that and for nozzle 13, let's flip the blind flange. Now let's make some little changes. 
uh, on the welding lines orientation for the uh, shell plates. So for the first shell plate, let's change the orientation to be 45 degrees. And for the second one, let's make it 350. Okay, for the third shell, let's make it 45 degrees and save. And for the last shell, let's make it 36, uh, 350. Okay, and for the last head, we will flip the direction of this head. Now, before running the model on uh, Autodesk Inventor, let's make one more point, which is tree save. Tree save option will make some calculations on the uh, SEG tree nodes and make a saving for those calculations before start creation on Autodesk Inventor. This step is very important before proceeding the creation of elements on Autodesk Inventor. Okay, now let's start creating the assembly by clicking on Start Assembly and now let's check Autodesk Inventor. One more thing I would like to mention it here for uh, those pliant flanges, no mention. Uh, if they are a standard flanges or not and the dimensions of the flanges not uh, complete dimension that you can uh, create it on uh, SEG in uh, a right way so we, ma we make some uh, modifications on, on that to make it make uh, sense a little bit here as you can see we try to generate the uh, 3D model of this uh, file as you can see here for uh, this nozzle which is uh, in 12 so let's uh, stop the uh, assembly for a second and for nozzle n1 as you can see it's a heli side nozzle but if you check the uh, uh, this file here you will not find any information mentioned you that it's a helicide nozzle and the only thing here it's uh, the orientation of or the layout angle so we can make a modification for uh, this nozzle by hand by making it as a helicide nozzle and modify this orientation to make it 90 degree and make it clock or uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So let's modify this value and click on start to modify the orientation of this nozzle to make it a helicide nozzle with 90 degrees. Now let's complete the uh, other nozzles creation. Okay, now we have the 3D model already done in SCG and we would like to make some uh, modification like uh, adding a gasket between uh, those uh, blind and uh, flange. For example, for uh, this nozzle we would like to add uh, a gasket between this flange and this blind. So from here let's select 
the size of this flange is 24. So from here, let's select uh, other and select gasket and 12A gasket. Okay, and this gasket. Yes, let's select it here and make it as uh, according to SME 16.5 select the size and now let's move it uh, after the uh, flange 12A so from move let's move after and select the flange now as you can see here we have this blind uh, will be connected to the gasket before the flange. Now when you click on start assembly, we will get here if we take a section. As you can see we have a gasket here between the blind and the uh, flange. Okay, thank you for your time and if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.